Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. What I'm going to be doing in this one is finally assembling the new arrows that I bought to shoot out of my Proforce. So for those of you who missed the video where I spoke about everything that I bought, I'll just do a quick summary of what I've got and then we'll get on with it. So the shafts that I decided to go with are Victory VAPs, uh, 0.166 diameter I believe. And these are 350 spine cut to 29 inches carbon to carbon. Um, I also went with the Victory Pin Knocks. I like the color of them being black. They sort of blend in with the back of the arrow a little nicer. I also went with Victory Glue In Points. These ones are 140 grain break off and they go 140, 130, 120, but I'll be using them at the full 140 grains. Um, the other thing that I got were the Fletchers. These are Flex Fletch Veins and they are 187s, so they're quite small. Um, and then for the Nox, I went with Biter Nox as well. So because these veins are so short, I'm not going to be using any sort of helicoil on them. I'm going to be using an offset straight fletch. Um, so the other things I've got on the table at the moment are some Loctite 401, that's my glue of choice when it comes to putting arrows together. Got my Allen key so I can set up the jig properly as well. Um, I also have a roll of cling film and I use the cling film to put the pin knocks into the back of the arrow. So you sort of put the cling film over the back of the arrow and push the pin knock in so that it um, takes up the tolerance between the pin knock and the inside diameter of the shaft. So you get a nice tight fit. I've never had a pin come out of a shaft doing it that way. But if I do smash a pin, I can always pull it out with some pliers because it's not glued in permanently. Um, I've not really tried using the hot glue method on the pins, but because the pin sticks out of the back of the arrow only so much, I'd be worried that the heat that I'm applying to the pin to get the glue to melt could potentially damage the carbon of the arrow. I mean, if you're careful enough, it probably wouldn't, but I don't want to take that chance. So this is the method that I like to use. Um, if you've got a better one, you can leave a comment in the box below the video to let me know what it is that you like to do to put your pins in the back of your arrows. So the other thing I have on the table here is this little black box. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a grain scale. So grain scales are great for weighing things that don't weigh very much. A lot of archery components, um, when you read up about them, it talks about how many grains they weigh and for arrows, how many grains per inch of arrow and that sort of stuff. So you need a scale that can weigh in grains if you're going to be weighing components for your archery. So the reason why I have the grain scale is because what I like to do is weigh each and every component that I'm going to be putting onto my arrow, including the shafts themselves, and batching it so that collectively those components end up weighing the same for each and every arrow. Now you might be saying, but when stuff comes from the manufacturer, they should all weigh the same. A lot of the time they do, but a lot of the time they don't as well. So it is important if you really want to make sure that your arrows are all exactly the same weight for best consistency, that you weigh all of the components out and then batch it out so that each arrow's uh, components including the shaft all weigh exactly the same or within a couple of grains of each other. So I know that this particular scale is accurate. I have um, calibration weights that I've used on it to make sure that when this thing tells me something weighs 100 grains, it is actually 100 grains. Um, you can be as pedantic with this as you like or not. It's completely up to you. I just have my methods that I like to use and the results I get out of it are generally pretty good. Like a lot of my hunting arrows, I've done the same thing. Um, veins, Nox, Shaft, Broadhead, weigh all of them, batch it out. All of my hunting arrows end up being within one or two grain tolerance of each other. That way I know it doesn't matter which arrow I grab from the quiver they should all work exactly the same every time. So I figure with this target stuff, it's gonna be the same sort of um, consistency that I'm after. So I may as well follow the same um, set of rules that I've always followed when I've set my arrows up and I should get good results. I think that's pretty much everything covered. 
What I'm going to do next is actually weigh everything and batch it out. Um, I will probably not have the camera running while I do all of that because it is quite a tedious process and I'm sure you guys will get bored out of your mind if you watch that all of that as well. So I'm going to turn the camera off, get all of these things weighed, batch them out so that it's an a arrow shaft, a point, a pin knock, a knock and three veins 12 times and they should all be within a couple of grains of each other. So without further ado, I'll get that done and I'll see you guys in a second. One eternity later. All right, so that took a lot longer than I want to admit. And I must say that I am very impressed by the consistency amongst all of the components. So I'll start off with the flex fletch veins. And while there were some differences in weight between the individual veins and bear in mind I'm talking like 0.1 of a grain which according to Dr. Google over there is one grain is 0 0.064 grams so 0.1 grain is crazy small as far as the difference is concerned so all of these bundles here, there's 12 bundles of three, one for each arrow, weigh 9.5 grains. So I mixed and matched a little bit as far as the veins are concerned until I got each one of those bundles to be exactly the same weight. Now, as far as the arrow shafts themselves are concerned, I ended up with one at 231.2 grains four at 231.5 grains, one at 231.6 grains, two at 231.8 grains, one at 231.9 grains, two at 232.1 grains, and one at 232.3 grains. So from the lightest one to the heaviest one, We've got barely over a grain of difference. So looking at Dr. Google again, barely 0 0.06 of a gram difference between all 12 shafts. So that's pretty damn good in my opinion. Um, so then we go to the pin knocks and one of them, 12 grains, six of them 12.2 grains and the other five 12.3 grains so again very 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 close as far as the difference is concerned the one that i am most impressed with are the biter knocks all 12 of them 5.1 grains each no difference i w i must admit i did re-weigh them a couple of times just to double check that just in case the battery in my scale was going flat or something like that but every single one of them exactly the same weight very very impressive and then the 140 grain victory points three of them came in at 139.9 grains and the other nine came in at 140 grains on the dot so again crazy consistent as far as the weights concerned so the next thing i'll be doing which is probably unnecessary considering how close all of these are together as far as the weights are concerned is I'll batch it out into the individual arrows again trying to keep the weight as consistent as possible now a lot of you guys are probably going to be watching this and going why would you even bother when everything's so close together and I know that I don't really need to but as a personal experiment for myself I'm going to do it anyway because I want to see if it actually does make any sort of difference. So I'm going to get that all set up, batch these out as I said, and come back to you guys when I'm ready to start assembling these arrows. Alright guys, so as you can see from the change of the shirt, it's the next day. Um, it does take a long time when you try to batch all of these things out to try and get the weights of everything to be exactly the same. Now I must admit they aren't quite perfectly exactly the same for each one um, but again we're talking 
very, very small differences. So, you know, that 0 0.06 of a gram being a grain and having 0.1 or 0.2 of a grain variation throughout the whole 12 arrows, that's pretty good in my book. So the next thing that I'll be doing is um, I'll start by giving the shafts a clean and installing the wraps. Um, then I'll show you guys how I actually install the pins as well. But I might do that in a separate video. So this one will uh, just be about making sure that everything is batched out and weighed correctly and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to call this video done. Thanks for watching. Leave a like or a comment below. Remember to click on the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and click on the little bell icon so that you receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hope you guys all have a great week, and remember, just do good shots.